page 16, State versus DeCastro, well, DeCastro versus State Nevada, C381730. Well, I, you already filed this brief. Yes, I just, all I was doing was motioning. When I do it in the Supreme Court and I go over the 30 pages, we have to file a contemporaneous request saying, could we have excess page numbers? So I did that. What if they say no? Did they, it strike they, the last 10 pages? They, I'm, I'm going to grant it. But in Margaret Rudin, they actually said no. And I remember I had to cut back some. So yes, but that's the only time. And it was 120 pages. Just lower the phone. How many did they allow you in that case? I don't recall. I, Jeez. Okay. I, I don't recall, but it. I'm, I'm, assuming, I'm assuming the state has no opposition. No, I have no objection. Okay, so it's um, it's granted, and the only thing that motion to admit that stuff was all presented at the trial level, right? No, part of it was, and I don't think the state has an objection to that part. Part I was concerned because the Supreme Court on appeal said we have to make sure that the higher court their their court receives everything that was utilized before below so there was a video a body cam video from the officer that the state admitted i had i did not know how to generate it so that this court would have it and i was concerned the state could possibly say that i didn't do anything to get the evidence before the court so i just motioned the court to say hey we're, you know could we please make sure that that's included and i don't think the state has an objection as to uh, that yet. Anything he uses that was presented at trial, I have no objection to. Obviously, the other exhibits that he puts in, that was not anything that was presented at trial. We would have an objection to those exhibits. And there were some. There were some that I have just included. So when the court asked me that, yes, there are exhibits that were not included in trial, that are not mentioned in trial. And so I am saying, could the court consider that? Um, and so I, I think maybe uh, what maybe... Oh, you didn't want at the trial level. I can't. Yeah. I was you weren't the, the no. attorney. No, and we are raise, raising ineffective assistance of counsel as well. So that would, would permit me um, to go outside of the record. I may be filing something because he is in custody, a separate writ. The issue was already raised, but I may just raise it as a writ so that I can then explore uh, issues outside of the record. But I know that Mr. Chen objects to the exhibits that were not admitted. And there were there were a few that I, I requested. You're gonna ask the court to consider yes. so it's a direct appeal and I guess post conviction. Post -conviction. Yes. Mr. Chen. Um I don't know if procedurally it was absolutely correct, but at the end of the day, I'm allowing Mr. Orm to file what he wants to file in this appeal. So whether it's the direct appeal and treating it as a petition, if the court wants to construe it as a petition, that's totally fine with the state. We'll just Respond to it on the and that and that probably will save some trees because I was going to having heard some of the state's concerns I thought about filing a separate writ but if we can I, I may refile it just with the form because I'm concerned that on appeal the Supreme Court if there was an appeal the Supreme Court could say this wasn't properly preserved so I may do that um, but it wouldn't slow anything down because I'm not going to raise anything that has not been raised already and maybe. Okay, so it's granted. You the order on these. Now, I think July 10th, right? Uh, yeah. Everyone's on track to meet that date. Yes, sure. Yeah. Serious?